Okay, so now we're inside of the Unity Editor and this time I want to try something different. So normally I would show you how to write the script and how to set up the whole scene and so on. But this time I thought to myself, why not f start with a finished scene and then walk you through it. So first of all, I want to show you how I set up the general scene. So I added a cube and set, it, uh, set its position to negative 0.5 and I called it floor, so this is only that we have something to walk on. I imported the first person character controller and I added a flashlight, which is just the spotlight and I um, put it under the first person character, which is the camera. So um, that means that I can just like look around and the flashlight will follow. Then I also added this uh, wall thingy just so that I can see the actual flashlight. And then I also added the ba uh, battery cube, so you could put in your graphics here, for example. And the battery cube, the most important thing about that is that the box collider is set to trigger. And I made it a little bit bigger. And yeah, so two more things. So first of all, I tagged the first person controller as player. And I tagged the flashlight as flashlight. You will see why this is important in just a second. And also I put the flashlight script of course on the flashlight and the battery script on the battery. So let's open up Visual Studio and have a look at what I've done. So first of all, we got some variables here. The first variable is a public key code. So a key code is basically, let's go here, an input. So I chose the F key for my flashlight toggle. So I could also click on here and see all other uh, keys that I can use. So as you can see, I have all, uh, all the different keyboard keys to choose from. So I put that in there. Okay, so then I have a public audio clip, which is a toggle sound. So we basically play that when we press the flashlight toggle key. Then I added a float called battery life in seconds. So this is the, uh, so it is basically what it says. It's a battery life in seconds. So if I go back here and set the bat uh, battery life to seconds to, for example, 30 seconds, then the battery, uh, then the, uh, the flash, uh, the flashlight will last 30 seconds. If I set it to 10 seconds, it will last 10 seconds and so on. Then I added another variable called max intensity. Um, what does the, uh, what this does is basically clamps the intensity value right here uh, to a maximum of one. So we can't go over one, for example, because as you can see, if I increase the intensity, the light gets a lot brighter and I think that just looks stupid. So I said, okay, we can't go higher than an intensity of one. Okay, so now I also got a private float battery life. This is needed for some calculations later on and a private bool called is active. So is active basically checks if the flashlight is enabled or not. And then I got some references. So first of all, I got a reference to the audio source, which I called my audio source and I got a reference to the light component of the flashlight. So to this thing here, right here, and I called it my light. So now in the start, I first assign my references. So I set my audio source to the component audio source. As you can see, I don't even have an audio source on there. This is because I wrote the script so that even if you don't have an audio source or if you don't have a toggle sound, like I don't have a toggle sound, so I had no reason to actually add an audio clip, uh, an audio source. So I wrote a, a script so that the script still works without those things. Okay, and then what I do is I set my battery life to my light dot intensity. So basically I set the battery life um, to the value right here. Uh, this is important for a calculation later on and I will sh get to it in just a second. But first of all, in void update, we basically check 
if we press the flashlight toggle key, in this case it's F, and then we set active to the opposite of active, so if act is, uh, is active is equal to false, then it will be the opposite of false, which is of course true, and if it's true, then it will be the opposite of true, which is of course false. And then after that, I check if the audio source is not equal to null, that means that there is an audio source, and I also check if the toggle sound is also not equal to null, so that means there has to be a toggle sound and there has to be an audio source. And if this is the case, then we are just going to play the toggle sound. Okay, so in the next step we check if is active is set to true. And if it is, then we enable our light component, so basically we set it from disabled to enabled. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to decrease the intensity of my light, uh, of my light by the battery life divided by battery life in seconds times time dot delta time. So every time step we are going to decrease the intensity by an, uh, by an set amount. So for example, let's say intensity is set to one and we got the battery life in seconds of 10 seconds. Then we got one divided by 10, which is of course one point, uh, sorry, 0 0.1. And we are going to decrease my light dot intensity by 0 0.1 every second. And this in turn will, re uh, will mean that the intensity after 10 seconds is going to be at zero. So if you put in, this is the reason why I put in, if I put in 30 seconds, then after 30 seconds, because of this little like calculations right here, so we got one divided, uh, one divided by 30, and we are going to uh, de decrease, decrease the intensity by this thing every second. So after 30 seconds, we will have uh, completely decreased the intensity to zero. Okay, and then after we have this if, so this only happens if my light is actually active, and if not, then nothing happens, so there's no reason to actually remove intensity when the flashlight is off, right? And then I added another void, so this is public, so that it can be accessed from another script, which is going to be the battery script, but we will get to it in just a second. So the public void add battery life, and it takes in a float called battery power. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set my light dot intensity plus equals underscore battery power. So let's say I have a battery with a battery power of one. Then I will just set my light dot intensity plus equal to one. So let's say this is it. Let's say the intensity is at zero and I pick up a battery, then it jumps back to one. Simple as that. Okay, and then I have another if, so I check if my intensity is greater than the max intensity, and if this is the case, then we are just going to set intensity to max intensity. So for example, if I have a light, which is at, at, at intensity one, and then I'm going to pick up a battery, which, uh, which also gives me an intensity of one, then one, uh, one plus one is two. And because I don't want my intensity to go up to two, because I think that looks stupid, I just said, okay, so if it's greater than one, just bring it back down to one. So that's all for the flashlight script. And now for the battery script, it's very, very simple. So first of all, I got a public float called battery power. And then I have a method called public void on trigger enter, call it the other. So this is uh, uh, from mono behavior, it's just a normal unity thing. So this is also the reason why it's important that the box collider is set to is trigger because otherwise this won't be called. And then we just check if other, which is the collider that entered the trigger, in this case it's going to be the player. So I checked if um, the tag is actually set to player this is the reason why this has to be set as player. 
I do this so that if you have for example a projectile or an enemy and it walks into the trigger that it doesn't pick up the battery because that would be stupid. Okay and then what we're going to do, we're going to find a flashlight, we're going to get the component and we're going to add the battery life with the battery power and after that we're going to destroy the battery. Okay so now if I check this out, um, maybe I should first select the flashlight. So pay attention to the intensity. So as you can, oops, first of all I have to enable the flashlight, so I toggle it on. As you can see it goes down and after se uh, 10 seconds it's going to be at zero. So let's wait this out and you can also have a look at the game view. Okay, so now everything is um, dark, but I know where the battery is. So I try to walk into it and as you can see it jumped back, uh, back up to one and it also goes down, uh, down again. Okay, so this is everything for this tutorial. I hope you liked this episode. Tell me what you think of this, uh, of this new style of tutorial. Perhaps you like it more, perhaps you don't like it. Just let me know. Also, please consider subscribing. And I also w I would appreciate it if you would leave a like and also comment something in this comment section. It always makes me happy to read your comments. And yeah, so thanks for watching, until next time, bye guys.